Hi there! In this video, we'll learn how to create variants for an existing Father product. The first step is to go into Catalogs, Properties. This is because variants are based on the properties and their corresponding values. These will be the defining characteristics of our variants. For example, we have the property color here, as well as its property values blue, red and white. Next up, we'll go to Catalogs, Products and select the product to create variants for. Everything here is covered in a previous video, so we'll go straight to the Variants tab. This is where we'd see all our product's variants, provided it has any. Right now, we have no variants for our product, hence the message, this product has no variants yet. All that's about to change though, as we're going to create variants for it with the button here. Generate variants. A new menu pops up, allowing us to create variants based on all the properties we have set up, as well as their assigned values. Our product looked like some kind of shirt. Variants for the color and the size seem appropriate. We'll select the property color and then which of the values we want to include. Our shirt comes in our three colors we set up, so we'll activate all of them. The shirt also comes in different sizes. Let's select all of them as well. As soon as we selected property values, we can also set price surcharges or discounts here. Again, this allows us to set up the price values we want to add or subtract based on property values. Let's say that the red variant costs 1 euro more and the white variant is 1 euro less. Because the purchase price is lower, since it doesn't have to be dyed. We'll add a 1 here at red and add a minus 1 for a discount at white. This menu also allows us to do this based on all the currencies we set up, but we'll ignore that for this video. The next option is Value Exclusion. This enables us to exclude specific variant combinations from being generated. To showcase this, let's say we don't want to offer the blue shirt in size S. In order to achieve this, we'll click up here on Exclude Values. We select the property Color, is one off, and pick Blue. Since we want to combine this with size, we'll also click the and button, select size, is one off, and pick S. All that's left to do is to click the save button and we have an exclusion. With that done, we practically set up all the necessary steps to create our variants. So let's hit next. Shopware now shows us a preview of which variants will be created based on the choices we made. We'll notice that among the blue variants, the size S is missing, just like how we intended. Of further note is that this menu also allows us to define whether or not we want our products to be digital products like, say, an ebook. Our shirt is very much physical though, so we'll ignore this and click Save Variants. Now that the variants were created, we can see their names, a combination of property values Shopware used to create them, as well as the prices, sales, stock values, product numbers and the media associated with them. If we wanted to edit a variant, we could simply click on it or use the three-dot menu here, just like with any other product. We'll notice that most of the fields are grayed out and can't be edited. This is because of inheritance from the variant's father product. It means that the data is passed down to the variant dependent on the father's data. If we were to change the father's data, all our variants would change as well. Inheritance within Shopware is always symbolized by this little blue chain symbol. A click on it allows us to remove the inheritance and in turn enables us to edit the data for this specific variant. For example, we could change the manufacturer here. Just the same, we can also restore inheritance by clicking the symbol again. This results in our variant again taking all the data from its father product. With a click up here, go back to Variant Overview, we can go back. The overview of variants would allow us to create new variants at any point with the button here, Generate Variants. 
which still holds the entire configuration we set up previously. If we were to change anything in here, additional variants could be generated or existing ones deleted if we were to remove property values. We can also change the storefront presentation with the button right next to it. This menu allows us to make a few design choices like the display sequence. We can change the sorting of properties and their values here simply via drag and drop. Let's check the property size and make sure that the sizes are listed in descending order. The next option is Assign Media. This is a quick way to assign media to our variants. If we pick color, for example, we could set or upload something like images for the individual color values, like a photo of our blue shirt. The last point here is product listings. In this menu, we can configure how we'd like our variants to be presented in a product listing. Do we want all variants to be covered by a single umbrella product as placeholder? And should that placeholder be the father product or a specific variant? Or do we want variants to be listed by themselves? Based on the selection here, we can also define which variants should be listed on their own. We could, for example, set up that all available colors act as an umbrella, with each color being listed separately, and then within these you have to select the size, as seen here. Now we got blue, red and white listed, essentially showing three separate products. If we were to activate size as well, all our variants would be listed as separate products in the listing as you can see here. And that about covers all there is to it when it comes to adding variant products and concludes this video.